I'm speaking to you all from the cottage here in Connemara, a place of outstanding beauty and very rich Irish culture. It truly is the essence of Irishness here where our native language, song, dance and literature can be found in abundance. One of the most beautiful and powerful living traditions we have here is our Shano song and dance. And as a dancer, I've been very lucky to tour the globe showcasing this beautiful dance style. I'm so, so grateful to have this chance to share my favorite part of the Connemara culture with you all, wherever you are in the world today. Shano dancing is a improvised, loose, relaxed dance style. It's very casual. It's far, far more relaxed than the competitive style of Irish dance that you would see in shows like River Dance. It's danced very niche and close to the floor, and it's a percussive representation of what's happening in the piece of music. It's generally danced with one musical accompaniment, and I like to think of it as a conversation between the musician and the dancer. Here in Connemara, the steps are generally passed down through families from one generation to the next. And it was hugely popular in this area in the era of the Rambling House. My own great-grandparents, Marcus and Helena Coyne, their country house was the local Rambling House of the area. And that means the neighbours would stop in, in the evening and they would share their music, their song, their dance, their stories and celebrate local customs all on the kitchen floor. So you could imagine with a gathering like that in such a neat, tiny space, you can see how the steps are quite small and confined in their own space. And I love that we still have that old discipline in the dance style. Those uh, cottage gatherings gave rise to lovely sayings like mind the dresser. And we still that say that today when there's music or dance being performed. And it goes back to that time when the steppers on the floor would have to be very careful that they didn't hit off the furniture as they danced to the music. Shano dancing is so much fun to learn. It's very easy to learn. It's a beautiful dance to watch and it's a real joy to perform. The dance is full of energy and spontaneity. And then some of the elements of the dance, like the brush dance, is very much all about personality and good humour. So I'm going to show you some of our footwork that we use in response to a very popular rhythm that we have in Irish music, and that's the reel rhythm. So we would hear a lot about Irish jigs and reels. We look at those basic elements of how we respond to the music, and then we'll dance those steps together to some beautiful music that I have here for the lesson by Tommy Doherty from his album Dance Shannos, a perfect, perfect accompaniment for any dancer, either beginner, improver, or just a dance enthusiast. So let's listen to the tune and we'll hear that rhythm and then we'll see how a Shannos dancer will move their feet in response to that music. And one, two, three, 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 and two, two, three, and three, two, three, and four, two, three, and five, two, three, and six, two, three, and seven, two, three, and eight, two, three. So you can tap your feet along as I call out this rhythm, and that's just a really natural response that's part of us all. And one, two, three, 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 and one, two, three. So let's learn the perfect step that goes along with that rhythm in that piece of music. And locally here we call it the Connemara basic step. So it's very, very simple. It's made up of a hop and stamps. Nothing else. Lots of repetition. So you learn the first two pieces for your right side and your left side and then you repeat that until you fill out that section of music. So we start off with our right foot, it's up in the air and we do a very tiny little hop. Remember, shallow stancing is all very close to the floor footwork so we never have to jump too high. A little hop and our right foot's up in the air and then we follow with the stamps to hold the rhythm of that piece of music. Three stamps, just like marching. One, two, and three. Now we can head over to the left side. 
Left foot's up in the air, nice and close to the floor still. A little hop, hop, and bring in those three stamps, starting with your left foot. Again, just like marching, very, very simple. One, two, three. So when you dance those two sides together, it looks something like this. Hop, one, two, three. Hop, one, two, three. And that's it. That's everything that makes up the Connemara basic step. That's all of the elements. And we dance it over and over again until we fill out eight bars, which is how we count the sections of music as dancers. So let's try it all together. Raise your right foot, little hop and dance along with me. Hop, bring in your stamps. One, two, three. Over to the left, left foot up in the air. Hop, one, two, three. Let's keep that going over and over again until we get really comfortable with it and we start to really drive that rhythm. Right foot up in the air, off we go. Hop, one, two, three. Hop, one, two, three. Keep going. Hop, one, two, three. 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 So as dancers, we count it so we can fill out that section of music and our counts are always in eights so to count it as a dancer we count after the hop and it sounds like this hop one two three hop two two three hop three two three hop four two three hop five two three hop six two three hop seven two three hop eight two three and we'll dance that a few times for practice right foot to start dance along with me off we go hop one two three hop two two three hop three two three hop four two three hop five two three hop six two three hop seven two three hop eight two three and again hop one two three hop two two three hop three two three hop four two three hop five two three hop six two three hop seven two three hop eight two three and I want to show you that now from this side so you get just a different angle on my feet and again just watch how neat I can keep it and I'm always trying to keep my feet very close to the floor but I'm still building in that nice hop to hold the rhythm for the music that's my right foot up in the air ready to go dance along with me hop one two three hop two two three hop three two three hop four two three hop five two three hop six two three hop seven two three hop eight two three and from the front it looks something like this again you see close to the floor and feet always close to each other here in Connemara we call that nice tidy dancing and that's the aim of the game when you're dancing old style traditional shanos. Hop one, two, three, hop two, two, three, hop three, two, three, hop four, two, three, hop five, two, three, hop six, two, three, hop seven, two, three, hop eight, two, three. Now we can try it with the tune. So to that piece of music, it should feel very natural for you now to move your feet in that sort of way as you respond to the, the piece of music being played. So this tune is called The Wise Maid. It's one of my favorite pieces of music to dance to. A beautiful, lively reel.
I'll call it first to give you an idea and then you can join in with me. Hop one, two, three. Hop two, two, three. Hop three, two, three. Hop four, two, three. Hop five, two, three. Hop six, two, three. Hop seven, two, three. Hop eight, two, three. So we're moving quite fast, very lively. Keep your feet close to the floor and you can go nice and fast. Right foot, here we go. Hop one, two, three. Hop two, two, three. Hop three, two, three. Hop four, two, three. Hop five, two, three. Hop six, two, three. Hop seven, two, three. Hop eight, two, three. Take a minute. Listen to the music. One, two, three. Two, two, three. Three, two, three. Off we go. Hop one, two, three. Hop two, two, three. Hop three, two, three. Hop four, two, three. Hop five, two, three. Hop six, two, three. Hop seven, two, three. Hop eight, two, three. Take another pause and listen to the music. Hop one, two, three, off we go. Hop one, two, three, hop two, two, three, hop three, two, three, hop four, two, three, hop five, two, three, hop six, two, three, hop seven, two, three, hop eight, two, three. Okay, last practice. Get ready. Right foot up in the air. One, two, three, and go. Hop one, two, three. Hop two, two, three. Hop three, two, three. Hop four, two, three. Hop five, two, three. Hop six, two, three. Hop seven, two, three. Hop eight, two, three. The next step we're going to learn is a gorgeous little step called heel and toe. And that's a step that a lot of the children here locally will learn first in their Shano Stenson. It's a very sweet step that you'll see being passed on from older members of the family. So you'll see grandparents or an older brother or sister or even an older neighbor passing this step on to the younger generation. So it's one of the first steps that I remember seeing danced around me by my great aunt, Teresa Mark. So heel and toe, half of it is new for you but the other half is what we just covered. So you have these building blocks. Once you get the basic step, you add in a new idea here or there, and you put these building blocks together in your own way to respond to the music. Heel and toe, right foot first, heel in front. And then we sweep off the floor and we tip behind. And then we can bring in our basic rhythm that we've just covered. Hop one, two, three. Over to the left, heel in front. Sweep off the floor and tip behind. And bring in the basic rhythm. Hop one, two, three. Back to the right foot, heel in front. Sweep off the floor, tip behind. And bring in the basic. Hop one, two, three. And the last piece, over to the left again. Heel in front. Sweep off the floor, tip behind. Hop one, two, three. So all together it looks like this. Heel and toe, hop one, two, three. 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 So dance along with me now. Heel in front on the right. Sweep along the floor and tip that foot behind. And bring in your basic. Hop one, two, three. Over to the left. Heel in front, sweep along, tip behind, hop one, two, three, right foot again, heel in front, sweep along, tip behind, hop one, two, three, and back to the left, heel in front, sweep along, tip behind, hop one, two, three. So all together, a little bit faster for the rhythm of the music we have. Heel and toe, hop one, two, three. 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 So from this side, you'll get a really good angle for how I sweep my foot along the floor. And again, you'll see there's a lot of shape to the step, but I'm still keeping everything very neat and I'm conscious of keeping my feet close to each other as I dance. Heel, sweep along lightly across the floor, tip behind, hop one, two, three, over to the left, heel and toe, hop one, two, three, heel and toe, hop one, two, three, heel and toe, hop one, two, three, all of that together, heel and toe, hop one, two, three, 
heel and toe hop one two three heel and toe hop one two three heel and toe hop one two three okay let's practice it a few times before we try it with music right foot heel in front off we go heel and toe hop one two three 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 again heel and toe hop one two three 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 again heel and toe hop one two three 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 again heel and toe hop one two three 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 okay with the music and we see how the step fits in I'm gonna call the step first I want you to listen for it in the music. Heel and toe hop one two three. Heel and toe hop one two three. Heel and toe hop one two three. So get ready to dance along. Right heel out in front to start. Heel and toe, get ready. Off we go. Heel and toe hop one two three. 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 Take a minute and listen to the music. Heel and toe hop one two three. Heel and toe, off we go. Heel and toe hop one two three. 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 Another break. Heel and toe hop one two three. One two three and go. Heel and toe hop one two three. 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 Now we're going to try both of our steps together. The basic step all the way up to the eight bars, and then we we'll go straight into the heel and toe step. So we're starting off right foot up in the air. Hop one two three. Hop two two three. Get ready. Off we go. Hop one two three. Hop two two three. Hop three two three. Hop four two three. Hop five two three. Hop six two three. Hop seven two three. Heel and toe. Heel and toe. Hop one two three. 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 Take a minute. Listen to the tune. We'll do a basic step again. Right foot off we go. Hop one, two, three. Hop two, two, three. Hop three, two, three. Hop four, two, three. Hop five, two, three. Hop six, two, three. Hop seven, two, three. Hop eight, two, three. Heel and toe. Hop one, 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 two, three. One last practice all together. Basic step for the eight bars, followed by heel and toe. Off we go. Hop one, two, three. Hop two, two, three. Hop three, two, three. Hop four, two, three. Hop five, two, three. Hop six, two, three. Seven, two, three. Hop eight, two, three. Heel and toe. Hop one, 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 two, three. Well done, everyone. Good job. The next step I'm going to show you is called stamp and lift. The majority of the step is made up of the basic step again, the basic rhythm that we've already covered. And our new idea is the idea of stamping and lifting across our feet. Very nice and simple and visually just a lovely step that you can bring a lot of personality into depending on how you lift your foot. So I'm just going to show you from the front the different ways that you might want to lift your foot and that can sort of showcase your own individual style. And that's a huge, huge part of Shano's dancing. The idea that no two dancers will execute one piece of footwork exactly the same. They'll put their own sort of uh, take on it, their own sort of gloss, as we'd say here locally. Stamp, lift, hop, one, two, three. Stamp, 
lift, hop, one, two, three. Stamp, lift, hop, one, two, three. Stamp, lift, hop, one, two, three. So you can see there I played around with all different di directions to lift my foot and that will keep my footwork slightly different and personal, um, unique to me. And my neighbour and Shano dancer will dance it completely their own version, their own style. And that keeps it very interesting and always very fresh and new. So to build the rhythm, it's very, very simple. We start with a stamp on our right foot and we just lift again nice and close to the floor. The lift is where you bring in your own take. We're going to learn it simple and I'll let you decide how you want to do your lifts. You can lift them across, you can lift them out, you can flick them up behind, your own idea. From there you bring in your basics, you're already in position to do your little hop. Hop one, two, three. Then you head over to the left and a good stamp. I like to twist my stamp out on the floor. As my granddad would say, it's to put a little bit of a shape on the step. But you can also stamp straight forward like that. But I like to twist mine out. And then we lift nice and neat again. I would never go much higher than the other ankle. You can use that as a guide and you're already in position for the basic. Hop one, two, three. Over to the right again. Stamp and lift. Bring in the basic. Hop one, two, three. And then back to the left. Stamp and lift. Hop one, two, three. So when we dance it all together, and you can join in with me, it's looking something like this. Stamp, lift, hop one, two, three. Stamp, Lift, hop, one, two, three. Stamp, lift, hop, one, two, three. Stamp, lift, hop, one, two, three. And let's practice that a few times before we try it with the music. Right foot stamping to start, off we go. Stamp, lift, hop, one, two, three. 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 So I'll just show you from the front again. You can see as I'm lifting, I'm following the same shape. The stamp has that twist on it. And as I lift, I like to have a little bit of a twist as well. Stamp, lift, hop, one, two, three. 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 Again, always my feet are in a small space and they're close to each other. Let's practice again. Stamp, lift, hop, one, two, three. 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 Again, stamp, lift, hop, one, two, three. 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 Again, stamp, lift, hop, one, two, three. 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 Again, stamp, lift, hop, one, two, three. 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 Again, stamp, Lift, hop, one, two, three. 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 Now let's try that one with the music. So as you drill this one with the music, you might want to start first with everything very plain and simple as you get settled into the step. As you go on, the music may inform your dance more. So in response to the tune being played, you might want to play around more with these lifts. Flick them out, kick them behind, have some fun. Listen to the tune. Stamp, lift up, one, two, three. 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 So that gives us an idea of the speed. It's quite lively. Keep your footwork close to the floor. That'll help you go faster. 
first out with our right foot, get in position for our first stamp and we'll dance along. Stamp, lift, off we go. Stamp, lift, hop, one, two, three. 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 Take a pause there and listen to the music. Listen for your step in the music. Stamp, lift, hop, one, two, three. Stamp, lift, hop, one, two, three. Stamp, lift, hop, one, two, three. Get ready. Right foot, stamp. Off we go. Stamp, lift, hop, one, two, three. 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 Take a pause and listen. It's important to get the music in your ear so you can get the step in your feet. Off we go. Stamp, lift, hop, one, two, three. 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 One more pause, listen to the tune. Stamp, lift, hop, one, two, three. Stamp, lift, off we go. Stamp, lift, hop, one, two, three. 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 Very good, everyone. So now we have three fundamental steps there. The popular steps that give us a lovely taste of all the beautiful elements of Shannon's dancing. We can see that it's a very fun dance to learn. It's fun to perform. And that element that's in it, where you can bring in your own individual style, your personality, and make the steps your own, I think it makes it a very accessible dance. It's a dance for all ages, for all skill levels. Everybody can have a go, from a five-year-old to like in my own online dance classes, my eldest student is 90 years of age. So it really is uh, a universal dance. It's a dance for everybody. So we have three steps now. Plenty of choreography. So let's prepare our uh, performance for the St. Patrick's Festival. So we'll walk our way through the three steps and then we'll drill them to the music. So we start off and we have our basic step up to eight. Hop one, two, three, right foot first. Hop one, two, three. Hop two, two, three. Hop three, two, three. Hop four, two, three. Hop five, two, three. Hop six, two, three. Hop seven, two, three. Hop eight, two, three. From there we go straight into heel and toe. That's right foot, heel out in front of us. There's four of those. Heel and toe, hop one, two, three. To the left, heel and toe, hop one, two, three. Right again, heel and toe, hop one, two, three. And the fourth one, heel and toe, hop one, two, three. Straight into stamp and lift. Right foot stamps off the floor. And if you want to dance it like me, put that little bit of a twist on it and the shape. Stamp, lift, hop one, two, three. Left foot, stamp. Lift, hop, one, two, three. Right foot. Stamp, lift, hop, one, two, three. Stamp, lift, hop, one, two, three. Okay, let's see the whole sequence from this side. Right foot to start, basic step up to eight. Off we go. Hop, one, two, three. Hop, two, two, three. Hop, three, two, three. Hop, four, two, three. Hop, five, two, three. Hop, six, two, three. Hop seven, two, three. Hop eight, two, three. Straight into heel and toe, right foot. Heel and toe, hop one, two, three. Heel and toe, hop two, two, three. Heel and toe, hop three, two, three. Heel and toe, hop four, two, three. Stamp and lift, right foot to start. Stamp and lift, hop one, two, three. Stamp and lift, hop two, two, three. Stamp and lift, hop. Three, two, three. Stamp and lift up four, two, three. And from the front, basic step to start. That's my right foot now. <laughs> Off we go. Hop one, two, three. Hop two, two, three. Hop three, two, three. Hop four, two, three. Hop five, two, three. Hop six, two, three. Hop seven, two, three. Hop eight, two, three. Heel and toe. Heel and toe. Hop one, two, three. Heel and toe. Hop two, two, three. 
heel and toe, hop three, two, three, heel and toe, hop four, two, three, stamp, lift, hop one, two, three, stamp, lift, hop one, two, three, stamp, lift, hop one, two, three, stamp and lift, hop one, two, three. I played around with it a bit there at the end. <laughs> so we can try all of that now with that reel from Tommy Doherty's album, Dance Shanos. And like I said earlier, it's the perfect, perfect album if you really want to get uh, really comfortable with all the different rhythms in Irish music as a dancer. Okay, everyone, get ready. Basic step first. Off we go. Hop one, two, three. Hop two, two, three. Hop three, two, three. Hop four, two, three. Hop five, two, three. Hop six, two, three. Hop seven, two, three. Heel and toe. Heel and toe. Hop one, two, three. Heel and toe. Hop two, two, three. Heel and toe. Hop three, two, three. Heel and toe. Stamp, lift, stamp, lift, hop, one, two, three. 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 Take a minute. Listen to the music. And we'll do that sequence again. Basic step, hop, one, two, three. Hop, two, two, three. Hop, three, two, three. Hop, four, two, three. Hop, five, two, three. Hop, six, two, three. Hop, seven, two, three. Heel and toe. Heel and toe, hop one, two, three. Heel and toe, hop two, two, three. Heel and toe, hop three, two, three. Heel and toe, hop four, two, three. Stamp, lift, hop one, two, three. Stamp, lift, hop two, two, three. Stamp, lift, hop three, two, three. Stamp, lift, hop four, two, three. Okay, after this, we're going to dance straight through, no pauses. Dance that out. Hop one, two, three, hop two, two, three, hop three, two, three, hop four, two, three, hop five, two, three, hop six, two, three, hop seven, two, three, hop eight, two, three. Heel and toe, hop one, two, three. Heel and toe, hop two, two, three. Heel and toe, hop three, two, three. Heel and toe, hop four, two, three. Stamp, lift, hop one, two, three. Stamp, lift, hop two, two, three. Stamp, lift, hop three, two, three. Stamp, lift, hop four, two, three. Hop one, two, three, hop two, two, three. three Two, three, hop four, two, three, five, two, three, hop six, two, three, hop seven, two, three, hop eight, two, three. Heel and toe, heel and toe, heel and toe, heel and toe. Stamp, lift, stamp, lift, stamp, lift, stamp, lift, stamp, lift. Basic. Hop one, two, three, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, heel toe, heel and toe, heel and toe, heel and toe, heel and toe, stamp lift, woo, stamp lift, stamp lift, stamp woo. Hop one, two, three, hop two, two, three, hop three, two, three, four, two, three, hop five, two, three, hop six, two, three, hop seven, two, three, hop eight, two, three. Heel and toe, hop one, two, three. Heel and toe, hop two, two, three. Heel and toe, hop three, two, three. Heel and toe, hop four, two, three. Woo! So we danced right out to the end of the tune there. And I think you can see Shano Stanson is very vibrant, it's very lively, but it's a great dance for all fitness levels as well. It's very manageable and a lot of music can be danced to before you feel out of breath or you feel tired. I think it's just really energizing and the dance and the music just fills you with energy and life. Thanks for taking the time to learn some Shano Stanson with me today. We'll finish up now with dancing out the tune and you get to see all the shape as I perform the steps along with you. Sulagam Goran Shiv Tatna Vasan Rang. Banakthina Fela Park Arya Fad. I hope you enjoyed the lesson and enjoy your St. Patrick's Festival celebrations where everywhere in the world. One, 
two, three, and go. Hop one, two, three, hop two, two, three, hop three, two, three, hop four, two, three. Heel and toe. Stamp lift. Woo! 